the second half, at least the beginning of it. The wind braces hard over Memorial Stadium, and here comes a handoff. It's going to be McDowell. He's on his way. Touchdown, Clemson. The Tigers now pushing 40. Well, Roderick McDowell right there. That was a, that was a highlight reel run right there. He made four or five moves. Let's watch these moves in the hole. How difficult it is to get your hands on this kid. Oh boy, oh, that's a that's what we call a, a, a yard sale because there's jock straps laying all over the place. A career-high 387 yards passing for Taj Boyd. And for DeAndre Hopkins, six catches, 172 yards. Now they go for two. Direct snap, snap to Ellington. Hopkins throws to Boyd. Chad Morris doesn't get much sleep. That probably came to him on a Tuesday night about 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and one of the things that Chad Morris talks about is making it fun for his players. So when you have a guy like De DeAndre Hopkins who can make catches like this, takes it right off the top of the defender, and then... How do you defend it? The quarterback's walking around behind the line of scrimmage like he's audibly, and then he gets a pass from the guy who just made the touchdown catch. He stretched it until he could cut it back to pick up positive yards. Check it, it'll be third and four. There's the tight end, Ford running free in the secondary. One man to beat, Ford. Hits the pylon, it's a touchdown. 69 yards. 240 pounds rumbling out in space. Well, and unfortunately, it's a feast or famine for Earl Wolf. The safety that time, or he had the interception earlier that time, he came up to try to make a play on this ball, couldn't do it. And what a nice finish by the tight end. Right foot inbound. Now we'll see if it pays off on the field. Clemson's got it first and goal inside the five. Both teams have struggled to score touchdowns when they've gotten into red zone. This is the seventh red zone possession of the game. Only one touchdown. That was by Clemson earlier in the game. Todd Boyd in the pistol is going to throw it for Hopkins. Wow. Did he make the catch? Oh, man. Touchdown. What a catch. On the fade. New Hopkins fought off the interference and still made the catch. Chris Davis was in coverage, interfered with Hopkins, and Hopkins still snagged the football. Watch this catch. That's an interference. In the, the very defense. corner. And hits the pylon with his career-high 12th catch. This one the most important for a touchdown. If someone, when this game was mentioned, was announced between Clemson and LSU, if someone said it was Clemson's defense that was going to win the game for them with eight three and outs, including one when LSU could have run out the clock under three minutes to go in the game, would you have ever bought that? No, I wouldn't believe no. it either. But they have. They have played exceptionally well on both sides of the ball. Number 14, Clemson trying to knock off number 8, LSU. Barring a penalty, this is the final play of the game and the one that will decide it. Catanzaro for the win. Got it!
Interesting that Clemson won the toss and elected to receive the ball. And now you can see why. This up-tempo offense, what they're trying to do is take away the aggression from Florida State and get them on their heels with the tempo. Third down and seven, the pistol look that they studied at Nevada. Deep down the middle. Goes for the home run. Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Clemson. A 60-yard bomb. Dabo Sweeney says, give us the football, and it pays off, Irby. Well, we just talked very fast about a lot of things that can happen to you. We're trying to keep up up here, Brent. The Florida State defense is trying to keep up down there. You can simulate this look of this offense all week long, but until you see it, you don't understand the tempo and the speed in which they execute. If you're a Clemson fan, that's exactly what you wanted to see and the way you wanted to start this football game. Timeout is called. They did not have 11 men on the field. Coach Sweeney is 11. They burn a timeout. Inexcusable for your extra point team as Hopkins the star who took it in. You know, we talk a lot about Sammy Watkins, but I'm telling you, Herbie, Brent, number six is I'm lethal. With I am with you, and it's back here in the back end. The safety actually hesitated. And again, if you don't have your eyes disciplined on your reads, this time Terrence Brooks, the safety, actually got caught up in looking in the backfield and looking at the other receiver. I don't know if he's anticipating help, but he was slow to react to Hopkins getting behind him. And do not underestimate the arm strength of Taj Boyd. He puts it right behind Terrence Brooks, who gives up the touchdown down there. Lasky is the fullback. Pitch to Orwin. Smith is a safety. What a huge play. Spencer Shuey. That's the danger of running wide, backed up in the shadow of your own goalpost. It can blow up on you. Penetration that time by 93 Crawford, who made the good play earlier. And Shuey, the middle linebacker, the right tackle, never got to him. He got knocked off by Crawford, and Shuey, the linebacker, gets there for the safety. Boyd in this Clemson offense not quite going at the same tempo that Dabo saw in the first half. Ellington is the running back right behind Boyd. A slip screen and a double pass. Watkins got a man wide open to Ellington in a foot race. 20 cut. Touchdown Clemson. Sammy Watkins, a 52-yard pass to the running back, Andre Ellington. What a call by Chad Morris. Uh, look, I mean, they're going to take some shots. You know that coming in. I mean, we heard that all week from Florida State. You know that there's going to be some shots downfield. Sammy Watkins missed the first throw where he had a receiver downfield in Humphreys. They go back to him in a different look this way, and this time Sammy puts it right on the money to the back, Ellington. A call by Chad Morris, the offensive coordinator. Man coverage on the outside. The running back is actually manned up with the linebacker. He's right in the middle, Christian Jones. Watch Christian Jones' eyes. They lock in on Sammy Watkins. And while he's looking at Sammy Watkins, Ellington sneaks out of the backfield. And there's Jones trying to catch up with him, number seven. Man-to-man -man coverage. He had him. He lost him because he thought that Sammy Watkins might be running, and Ellington slips out. By the time he realized that Ellington was 15 yards behind him, and Watkins makes a great throw. Look at Dabo. He's fired up. A little bit of an opening for Andre Ellington, and again, he keeps his footing by putting his hand on the ground, and now it's his wheels on the ground. Got blockers in front. Ellington at the 30, down the sideline, all the way to the 15-yard line. What a run. Natalie Marker down at the end.
Well, one time may be a fluke if a guy does it. If a guy does it twice in a game, you Not better get him on the ground. Out of bounds. Personal foul for a late hit, number six. The penalty will be added to the end of the run, half the distance. First down. Jonathan Mitzi, but watch this play, and Andre Ellington, who got some nice blocking, and right here, Todd, take over. Yeah, well, Jake Holland thought he had him down, but he, he had him wrapped up, but he didn't take him all the way to the ground, and for the second time tonight, we've seen tremendous balance by Andre Ellington and not giving up on the play. Gets his hand on the ground, maintains his balance, and turns it into a big play. If I'm John Chavis, I'm bringing some kind of pressure. I may play zone behind it. So if I'm Clemson, right now there are only six guys that can help in pass protection. With the five offensive linemen and the running back in McDowell, don't be surprised if LSU tries to free up a sixth man here. Fourth and 16. Here comes the pressure on the blitz. Down the middle for Hopkins. He makes the catch to 40. Holy cow. What a catch by Hopkins in the clutch. And here's that fourth down throw. And you hear the crowd saying, Nuke, you, you can't throw that ball any better. The only thing, the only mistake Reed makes here is he never turns to find the ball. And it was because he got stuck a little bit in another element.